guys, so I am here with my teacher planner and I am ready to get set up for the next school year. So if you haven't seen the full flip through of this very chunky teacher planner that I will be working with this year, feel free to check that out. I will leave the link in the description box below. And if you are just stopping by, hi, my name is Caitlin and I am a planner babe. I am a teacher and I am so excited that you decided to stop by my channel. I would absolutely love it if you would hit that red subscribe button down below on your way out and join us in this crazy wild party and don't forget to hit that notification bell on your way out as well so thank you so so much for being here everybody and let's just go ahead and get started I have admittedly already done some planner prep in here already so there might just be a few little lists that we're gonna do together and then I can kind of walk you through what I already added into my weekly and monthly spreads because I don't know a teacher on summer break is like a lost little lamb to me like I love working I love my job I love my students I love my co-workers I just love everything about my job and so when I'm kind of on a break I don't know if any of you guys watch the Big Bang Theory but when Sheldon has to take his sick days yeah that's kind of me like I would rather just be doing my job and still be in my routine it definitely is nice to be with my kiddos but I do really start missing you know my school kiddos my colleagues and that kind of thing as we get midway through the summer so let's just go ahead and take a look at this gorgeous planner so I have my name in it we're all set it is for reals once I get my name in it let's just go ahead and pull a couple of things out so I'm gonna need the dashboard from the student section I'm also going to need my teacher dashboard first so we'll just move the planner as a whole kind of out of the way and we'll get these guys set to go. Alrighty, so let's just go ahead and fill in the important dates that are coming up. So in August, I do have, before school actually starts, I do have one day where I'm actually working. So a big part of our school is sharing about our school with the community, telling families about our school who are potentially interested. And a lot of our families come to us because we are a virtual program or all online. And so some of those information sessions are virtual or all online. And I actually signed up to work one of those this summer. So the first important date that I have is a virtual information session on August 2nd. So I'm going to shorten that and just call it VIS virtual information session. And that's going to be on August 2nd at 6 30 PM. Okay, cool. So then the next thing that I have going on is the first day back to school. So teachers come back August 20th, August 20th. So exciting. So all Orca, that's the name or the, you know, abbreviation for my school. So we're called Oregon Connections Academy. All Orca teachers back on August 20th. Super cool. Really excited for that. And if any of you guys are teachers out there and you're just like super stoked to get back to school, let me know that down in the comments below because I can't be the only one. And so don't get me wrong, like I definitely enjoy my summers, but I don't know, like it just gets kind of long. I kind of wish that instead of having like a whole summer that there could be a couple of longer breaks during the year for teachers. And I'm sure everyone at every job has like a wish or a desire for like how how their time off could look but that's just that's what I would like personally because the long break is just tough and then on August 2nd we also have our all staff kickoff there's a lot of stuff all staff kickoff also on August 20th okay and then let's see here I just like to mix up the colors of the hearts <laughs> I like to kind of mix it up and not make it so matchy matchy. And then on August 21st, we have a staff retreat. 
So that basically means it's all of our staff getting together in person, kind of like a big staff meeting. We just call it a retreat, so it's a little bit more fun. And then, so let's see here. Then the next day on August 22nd, we start welcome calls. So basically what that means is that we reach out to each one of our families and welcome them to a brand new school year. So they open just a couple of days after teachers get back. So really excited. We're not even in August yet. And I've actually already been looking to see if, if my students are listed somewhere. They're not there yet, but I'm just very excited. And then a very important one is, let's see, teacher trainings do so all of, we have to do a bunch of like online trainings and if you're a teacher you'll know what i mean every year there's a bunch of online trainings to get done and those are all due august 24th and then the last one for august so far i mean sometimes i kind of hate using this like important dates because i feel like other important dates will come up if you and if you use all your room, then you're kind of like, well, that's just okay. But anyways, I have one more. So all of our welcome calls are due on the last day of August. So welcome calls due on August 31st. Okay. So that is done. This part I'm gonna use for staff birthdays. I'm not gonna fill that out with you guys because you know, you know, confidential stuff. And I am going to, I don't know, should we do the currently section together? Should we do that, you guys? Alrighty, so loving a new school year. That's what I'm gonna put there. Loving a new school year. Okay, and thankful for, honestly, I'm just thankful for my school. Like I love working for my school and with my colleagues. I'm thinking of a few colleagues have actually moved on to other positions. So I'm thinking of those people and I'm, I don't know, I don't want to put their names because I don't know if they want to be on camera or not, but I'm thinking of, let's see, those this sounds more like morbid than it is, but I'm gonna put those not with us. <laughs> but I just mean not working with us this year, not with us because I'm thinking really good things for them too, because I'm sure that they are in a really good place. So I am going, I'm gonna be going to the all staff retreat. That'll be fun. And I'm going to be wearing, I'll probably be wearing a dress because it's still hot in Oregon. Excited for new students new students and returning students. So I should just say all students, new students. How about in my room here in my class, in my class. And then I am reading, let's see. I'm sure I will be reading training material. So I have all of that to do. So training material and then, okay, this journal space. I love this in the student planner, all of this little journaling space. So what makes me happy? What makes me happy at the beginning of the school year? And I'm going to do this as a list form. So I'm actually going to use these cute pencil stickers and I'm just going to list a few things that make me really happy at the beginning of the school year. So we'll put those there. Then I can use some of these stickers. So fun. I love to use a sticker. If I can put a sticker down in my planner, I will do it. So if anybody else is like that, please let me know that I am not alone. And I'm sure I'm not, you know, stickers are a planner babe's fave. Some of us like stamps though. Like I've seen a lot of people getting into stamps, but I digress. So what makes me happy? So new school supplies. I don't know about you, but there is nothing better to me than opening a crisp notebook. That's probably why I like planner stuff so much because I just love that and freshly sharpened pencils. Oh, just love it. Okay, so new school supplies. What makes me happy? Seeing my colleagues again because everyone that I work with is truly just wonderful. And let's see, a fresh start. Those things make me very happy at the beginning of the school year, a fresh start. Very cool. And then all the things. So I also have like my top five over here. Let's see, we're gonna put the student one to the side for now and we're gonna start on this one. So focus of the month is going to be, let's see, welcoming all students and families back 
to school. Okay or you know to school if they're new to us this month's goals so i don't know if we'll have like our plc goal and stuff set by this time so i guess this month's goals will just be well not just <laughs> there's still very important things that i have to do in my job the big things i want to get done is i want to complete all trainings early so that i can have extra time to kind of work on stuff all trainings early and then i also want to make sure welcome calls complete so those are my big goals for the month and again it's a short month in august so it's hard to have a whole bunch of like really big tangible goals so and then my top five over here so let's see so those are my goals <sighs> So let's see my top five and I could list out each individual trainings, but I'm just going to put online training welcome calls. So we have a program for students who are not going to graduate on time. It's called grad support and it's just really to support families and students to make sure that they graduate as close to on time as possible. So I want to make sure that I refer those students as early as possible if I have any in my class. So refer grad support students ASAP. So that's gonna be something that I wanna do. I want to check all transcripts to make sure students are placed in the right class. So check transcripts, because sometimes we'll get a student who maybe came to us where credits didn't transfer and they get placed in the wrong grade level, for example. We'll do that ASAP. And then let's see, I would like to review all 504 students. And if you are not a teacher and you don't know that lingo, so 504 and IEP are basically students who are within our special ed program. Students on an IEP might need more support than students who are on a 504, but that might not be true. But I only have students on a 504 like modification plan in my room. So I want to review all 504 students before students arrive. So I want to put ASAP. And then let's see, I just want to put some inspirational things here. So here we go. Color outside the lines, teach, encourage, instruct inspire or teach inspire encourage instruct very cool and then this one I like a lot it says wake up teach kids be awesome for sure okay and then I have an idea of how I'm gonna utilize the other checklists celebrate every tiny victory I just need one more little sticker to go in here. Perfect. This is something that I need to keep in mind always because sometimes you can kind of get bogged down on like what's going wrong in your classroom, but it's really great to remember every single victory, no matter how small, could be really tangible and big for a student. So that's very important. Okay, so there are those. And this one I want in here too. Keep it together. I definitely need to remember that at the beginning of the school year. And then again, I'm going to try to record student birthdays here so that I can send out students birthday cards because we don't get that much face-to-face -face time, if any. Some of my students I don't get any face-to-face -face time with at all. So I wanna send them birthday cards or birthday postcards. And then over here, what I'd like to do is kind of the, you know, the tasks that I would like to do, but that maybe are just kind of like additional. So this year I want to record an intro video for my students. So I wanna record a video introducing myself and I actually have a really fun idea idea. So we call our students. That's like a big way that we, you know, engage with our students and families. And I'm really thinking about trying to do something where it's like one call away. You know, the Charlie Puth song, if you haven't heard it, I'll link it down below. I'll link a video of it and just kind of change the lyrics so that it fits, you know, number one, it's not like a copyright thing if I change the lyrics. And then number two, just to have a little bit of fun and, you know, share that with families. So record intro video and I actually want to try to do that before school starts that would be cool and then I need to update teacher message board so my classroom has a message board and I need to make sure that's all updated I should just put MB but I already wrote it message board I want to clear out my email clear out email oh I want to review the class that I teach so it's called high school success so review high school success I guess I'll leave this one blank because because I know something else will come up. I just know it will. So these are done. So let's go ahead and zoom you back out and we'll pop them back in the planner. And 
yeah, we'll move on to the next thing because I think I have everything already written down for the most part. So that goes, that one goes on the other side. This one goes here. It's gonna be hard to kind of keep track of where all of these things go, but this one goes here. It feels so good to be all prepped and ready for August already in my planner. Maybe I'll get a jump start on some of these checklist items that I am working on. All right, so those dashboards are done, and then let's just check in on the weekly and the monthly and make sure that everything is on there and scheduled that I know so far. Okay, so then this is my monthly schedule so far. And again, it's going to look pretty bare. I should put my monthly goals over here on my to-do list. Why don't I do that since I have you guys here anyways, we'll just continue making lists and it'll be a lot of the same stuff that's on the dashboard, but it'll just be like a triple way to reference it. So I'm going to call this like my to-do list and then the top five more like my monthly goals. All right. So I want to, on my to-do list, first I want to give myself a cup of coffee on my to-do to list because yes, I might need it. And actually I have been so good. I've been switching to tea and I don't know if that's like a ton better for you, but I, and that's what I'm doing and I kind of feel better. I don't feel like shaky and stuff like I was before. All right. So I want to kind of very similar, but you know, we got to get them on the monthly as well. Record intro video. And then I want to, and I'm sure other, again, other monthly stuff will come up. Update, teacher, message board. This is hard to write on like this at this angle. Okay. And I would like to clear out email and review. I'm gonna just shorten my class name. So it's called High School Success, but I'm just gonna call it HSS. HSS course. There we go. And then I'll leave some space because more stuff will come out, I'm sure. Okay, and then my monthly goals. So online training, welcome calls, uh, refer grad support, check transcripts, and review 504 students. Okay, so there are those on the monthly. And again, again, I've <laughs> I've been like such a bad teacher not taking a break. So yeah, I filled out a lot of this already because I knew the dates and I know that school year can get hectic. And especially since I'm using multiple planners, it might get hectic quickly. So yeah, I just wanted to make sure that I have stuff down and ready to go, but I will show you what it looks like. So this is my monthly spread. And again, it's very, very minimal. I might add some decor in there, but you never know. And then this is my weekly spread. I kind of walked people through this already. I'm not going to fill out the weekly, like don't forget stuff just because don't know everything that's going to be going on. I suppose I could, but I don't want to do that quite yet. So this is how I'm going to be using it. So this will be where I track everything from my advisory group, both of these. This will be where I track stuff for my high school success. So I don't have any class this week because we don't have students technically until early September. This is where I will be checking in on my AVID site team responsibilities. This is where all of like my meetings and stuff will go. This will be, let's see, any like to-do list items, I think think like big things. And then this will be like my, on the bottom here, like a journaling space where I, you know, talk about gratitude and that kind of thing. So in here, I'm also going to be using these like hourly checklists to schedule phone calls with my students. And then I also have additional checklist space. And as a teacher, you cannot have too many <laughs> checklists. Okay. And then, yeah, I just put a couple of like deco pieces on this side. And so, yeah, you guys, we are all set up for the first part of August. So excited. Well, thank you for making lists with me. I really appreciate that. I kind of wish I would have saved some of this deco for, you know, with you guys, but it is what it is. Sometimes a girl just needs to be with her planner. So I am so excited for the school year. And I hope that if you guys are teachers, you are excited for it as well. I do have another part of my planner back here, but it won't be used until September where I'm tracking like daily call totals and that kind of thing. So if you guys are as excited for back to school as me, feel free to leave that down in the comments below. If you are new here, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button on your way out. If you are one of my current subscribers, thank you so, so much for being here. I absolutely adore each and every one of you. And I want to give you the biggest internet hug ever. 
And if you want to find me on other social sites, you can find me over on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And by the way, you guys have fun today. Woo!